To give these children a chance of an education, Margaret Edmonds and Jennifer Dyer have been helping the Trust to run special classes for children who have never been to school. At the time of the team's visit, they were also running a special summer school for the children of the rubbish dump. They're lovely children, they're very affectionate and uh, they really respond when, when adults give them a little bit of attention. And in the summer school we had quite a lot of volunteers, uh, ladies who'd, especially ladies who'd come over from England and um, they gave them individual attention and they, they just responded and opened up in a wonderful way. It was really lovely to see them interacting. I'm involved with children at my own church and I just had to come and meet the children. That's the only reason I've come, because I just love these children. Many of these children were not registered at birth. The Trust has helped the families to overcome the bureaucracy and obtain their all-important birth certificates. Now nearly all of them have got their certificates and with that they can that's really like a passport to go into school. Now I can go to school. I was helped to get my birth certificate, my uniform and school materials. They cost a lot. I couldn't have gone without help. Before I couldn't go because I hadn't got those things. Going to school will make a big difference to my life. I'll get a better living. Life will be easier. I want to work in a bank, count money. I've chosen the career of an accountant. Then I won't have to work with a machete out in the country where there are snakes. I'll be able to sit down to work. It's good to learn to read. Tomorrow the classes start. I'm going to really try to get into the fourth grade. Whatever they give us to do, I'm going to do it. I think we'll be doing writing and reading. I'm going to work really hard. Over several years, working with Verbo Church, the Trust has built and developed another school next to the vocational centre. The school holidays provide an ideal opportunity for the team to do some maintenance. What we're doing today is we're trying to upgrade the classrooms a bit so they're having a coat of paint on the walls and we're doing all the, all the chairs. They've first been cleaned and, and scoured and now we're trying to make them presentable for the new term. I'm not actually allowed loose at home with a paintbrush. <laughs> Tony Langmead has the job of refurbishing old sewing machines donated by supporters in the UK and destined for a new life in Nicaragua. Um, we take this motor off, replace it with a new one similar to, to this here which is 110 volts and, um, and then it's ready for use here. In the town of Bluefields uh, there is electricity supply most of the time so electric uh, machines are, are, are valid here but if, you, if we give them to ladies in um, La Barra or Sandy Bay uh, on, on the uh, Atlantic coast, further up the coast, then uh, they, d they don't have access to, to electricity, so a hand or a treadle machine is, is, is the ideal. I'm very grateful to all of you and the teacher. She's a good teacher, very patient with us. I'm so grateful to you and to God for this place here. <laughs> All around the school, the fertile land owned by the Verbo Church is being cultivated with help from the team. Melons, we, we get into the stage where we're taking the, the native seeds from melons that we buy in the market and then we're planting them straight away. And these seeds were literally only planted uh, a matter of a few days ago. So uh, you can see the, see the seedlings uh, just coming up there. So that's poking through. Through here, we have... Um, have some cashew, cashew trees, um, which is a, a fantastic cash crop. We're always trying to diversify and, and add, add new things into the jungle. Marvin Ramirez is the full-time manager of the farm. In a few months from now, we will have bananas here. Uh, one year and a half, two years, we will have chocolate in production. Um, 
a few years more, maybe five years, three, five years more, we're going to have fruit trees, tropical fruit trees, produ producing here at this uh, garden. But no visit by a Peace and Hope team would be complete without throwing a party for the children of the rubbish dump. <laughs> <laughs>